This year I have designed various kinds of motors, some of which are printed on FR4 PCBs and some are sealed in flexible captain. But what's common about them is that they all have their coil made from copper traces. Today I have a new idea. What if I could draw the coil? You probably know that the core of a pencil is made of graphite, which is conductive. But the resistance for a very short and thick line is in the 100 kilo ohms range. So you will need a very large voltage to generate the same amount of current through the coil. So I have ordered a special conductive pen. Just kidding, I wish it's going to be this simple. I need to somehow draw a constant pitch spiral coil. I'm not very good at drawing, so I'm just going to take the DXF file of my flexible PCB actuator, scale it up, and just print it. This is going to be much easier. If only I made the robot do this. Better, right? Now let's test the continuity. It's a little bit high, but let's just pour it up and see what happens. Now I need to have some kind of wire in the middle, so what I'm going to do is just poke a hole. I'm just going to cover it with conductive ink, and hopefully it will conduct to the other side. Although current is passing through the windings, the resistance of the coil is limiting it to around 10 milliamps, which is not large enough to create a strong magnetic field and be affected by a magnet. But the nice thing about making a paper electromagnet is that I can just bypass some turns by drawing over the same coil. I kept around 20 turns connected, which reduced the coil's resistance to around 60 ohms. I'm going to try and power it with a 25 volt supply to try and get the best results out of it. Now this paper electromagnet is not as efficient as my flexible PCB actuator. I couldn't just lift the paper with the magnet. I was going to try and improve its efficiency by trying to make the tracks a little bit thicker and also use a thinner and lighter paper and print it on both sides of the paper. But unfortunately I ran out of ink. So I ordered some more conductive pen. In the meantime let me know in the comments below um, what kind of applications I can use this for. The best idea that I could come up with is origami, um, but it's amazing to see that this simple idea can work. 
Um, I have also released this PDF file for this coin online on my hackaday.io and hackister.io page so you can download it and try it yourself. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. See you soon.